Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Acting Premier. This government's record on education is appalling. Speaker, not too long ago, the Acting Premier said there is no greater investment than the success of our kids. Well, Speaker, in the Acting Premier's own community of London, early childhood education educators, maintenance staff, librarians and custodians have all received pink slips because of this government's proud record of cutting education funding. To make matters worse, the Minister of Education is now uttering threats at education workers because she couldn't do her job. Our kids are paying the price for this minister's failure. It's time for her to go. Will the acting premier admit that her Minister of Education has failed our kids and can't get the job done? Let me do one. Well, Speaker, um, we've increased spending in education by $8.1 billion. You call that a cut. I call that an increase of 56 per cent. And we're getting good value for that money, Speaker. Our kids are doing so much better in school now than they were when we took office back in 2003. So we've got higher graduation rates. Significantly, tens of thousands of kids have graduated under our watch who would have dropped out under their watch, Speaker. When, uh, um, when it comes to, uh, to, to test scores, Speaker, 72 per cent of kids are achieving the provincial standard, up 18 percentage points from 54 per cent, just over half before we took office. We have invested heavily in education. We're proud to make those investments in education Thank you. because our kids are worth it. Thank you. Supplementary. Again to the Acting Premier. Students and families are paying the price for this government's misplaced priorities. We are told there have been no cuts to the classroom. Maybe the minister should check whatever version of facts she's using today. Page 230 of the budget clearly lays out a $250 million cut in year. $22.5 million in cuts to special education, impacting our most vulnerable kids. In Toronto, 250 te 215 teachers fired and 100 ESL instructors fired, all because of cuts. The minister has lost all credibility and has created chaos in our schools. The only person in this province that should be getting a pink slip is the Minister of Education. Will the acting premier issue the Minister of Education a pink slip for creating chaos in our schools? Question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Minister of Education. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, what I think we all understand, except perhaps the member opposite, is that school funding is based on the number of students. Yes. And when you have uh, when you have the enrollment going down in year, yes, we make in year adjustments because there are less students. But despite the reduction in the minute, uh, number of students, special education has real has continued to rise. The the funding, but what is creating a problem in our school speaker and you would understand this is we have a situation where in the English public schools the teachers are on a partial strike and are refusing to produce report cards they're refusing Answer. to do extracurricular activities the QP workers are refusing to clean the halls and some of the education workers are refusing to man the security system none of those actions is acceptable. Thank you.